Testis. The testis or testicles are the male gonads which are the reproductive part of the male genitalia responsible for the production of sperm and testosterone. Gross anatomy. At birth, the testes measure approximately 1.5 centimeters in length by 1 centimeters in width and reach about 4 ml volume at puberty. Normal adult testes are ovoid and measure approximately 3 centimeters in the AP diameter and 2 to 4 centimeters in the transverse diameter and 3 to 5 centimeters in length with a volume of 12.5 to 19 ml. However, the size of the testes decreases with age. The testes hang in suspension and is attached to the spermatic cord and are covered externally by the loose, wrinkly, pigmented skin known as the scrotum. Just inside the scrotum, there are three more distinguishable layers that protect the testicular tissue. The innermost layer is known as the tunica albuginea and is a tough connective tissue fibrous capsule. Tunica vasculosa is a highly vascular layer of connective tissue beneath the tunica albuginea. The middle and outermost layers are actually one layer known as tunica vaginalis, which is split into a visceral layer and a parietal layer. They are derived from the peritoneal outpocketing that occurs during embryonic development. The layers are separated by a serous fluid that allows the testes to move in the scrotal sac. A posterior deficiency is apparent for the transmission of the epididymis and the blood vessels. The visceral layer is in the middle and it is a serous layer that covers the testes, epididymis and the distal part of the spermatic cord. The outermost layer is the parietal tunica vaginalis. Epididymis. The epididymis courses along the posterolateral side of the testis. It has two distinct components, efferent ductules, which form an enlarged coiled mass that sits on the posterior superior pole of the testis and forms the head of the epididymis, and true epididymis, which is a single long coiled duct into which the efferent ductules all drain and which continues inferiorly along the posterolateral margin of the testis as the body of the epididymis and enlarges to form the tail of the epididymis at the inferior pole of the testis. During passage through the epididymis, spermatozoa acquire the ability to move and fertilize an egg. The epididymis also stores spermatozoa until ejaculation. The end of the epididymis is continuous with the ductus deferens. Blood supply. The testes are supplied by testicular arteries arising from the aorta just below the level of origin of the renal arteries. Venous drainage. The testes are drained by a plexus of veins, pampiniform plexus, which continue as the testicular veins. The right testicular vein directly drains into the inferior vena cava, while the left testicular vein drains into the left renal vein. Lymphatics. The lymph vessels ascend with the testicular vessels and drain into the lumbar nodes. Innervation. Testes receive autonomic or sympathetic innervation from the spermatic plexus originating from the paraaortic ganglia. The testes are retropenatorial structures from the time of development until they descend into their final adult position in the scrotum. The testicular tissue is comprised of 200 to 300 lobules that are separated by connective tissue septa in a radiating fashion from the mediastinum testis. Each lobule contains between two and three seminiferous tubules that are coiled extremely tight and are approximately one meter in length when straight. It is here that the spermatozoa and sex hormones are produced. Spermatogenesis takes approximately 74 days to complete and about 200 to 300 million spermatozoa are produced every day and about half of these become viable sperm. The testes contain the seminiferous tubules with Leydig interstitial cells. Leydig cells secrete testosterone, androstenedione, and dehydroepiandrosterone, or DHEA, when stimulated by the pituitary hormone, luteinizing hormone, or LH. Seminiferous tubules carry the sperm via tubuli recti into a dilated space within the mediastinum testes, which is known as a rete testis, which drains into the epididymis through 10 to 15 efferent ductules. Efferent ductules in the head of the epididymis, or globus major, unite to form a single duct, globus minor, in the body and tail region, which continues as a ductus deferens 
also known as the vas deferens. The tubules converge in the posterior region of the testis and the collective amount of product is released into the network of the ridae testis. Clinical link, cryptorchidism. Cryptorchidism is a phenomenon based on a developmental malfunction that occurs when the testes fail to descend from their embryonic position inside the abdominal cavity into the scrotum. Even after surgical correction, this disorder is quite severe, seeing as it has been proven to be associated with testicular atrophy, sterility, and a much higher risk of developing various germ cell tumors, in particular seminoma and embryonal carcinoma.